Good morning. My name is Steve, and I'm the co-founder of Kenzen. Kenzen is a health analytics company, and we are predicting and preempting avoidable conditions and injuries. We believe the technology we have, we will be introducing today, will revolutionize player performance and safety. Sorry. Our team comes from a background of biotech and medical devices, and we actually uh, have a number of health conditions that we're monitoring ourselves. Uh, I myself am a type 1 diabetic, and so I know firsthand what it takes to go through daily health monitoring. We have 11 patents filed on our technology, and we've been operating primarily on two, uh, for two years now on research grants alone. And we believe the NFL is the perfect place to introduce our first product. When you send your players to a performance lab, what you get is a point-in-time diagnostic, which is limited to the facility itself. Now, what if you could take all of this technology, all of this analysis, and bring it to the player on the field in real time? It would change the game. And today, we're excited to introduce the Kenzen Echo Smart Patch. This isn't your typical wearable. This is a next-generation biosensor. And it works with two components. It's got a rechargeable monitor, and it's got a disposable and upgradable sweat patch. These two pieces combine together, peel the tab off the back, place it on your torso, and monitoring begins. We're looking at things like vital signs, motion, environmental conditions, but most importantly, sweat analysis. So what's in sweat? Biomarkers, uh, sodium, potassium, things like glucose and lactate. In real time, Trainers and players can now intervene to get ahead of today's most common injuries. These are avoidable conditions, and these are heat injuries, muscle strains, dehydration, and cramping. So in order to demonstrate how this works, we asked Roger Craig, uh, three-time Super Bowl champion and advisor to Ken Zen, to wear our patch and run for 10 miles. And here's a, a sample of the data we took from that session. What you're seeing is our sensors were measuring his heart rate, his body temperature, but if you see his hydration and ion levels, they're actually dipping over the course of time, and we were able to detect that. Roger lost a liter of sweat that day, and without intervention at this time, this is how players suffer a heat injury. Can we go back a slide, please? We're going to switch to the live demo. So I'm wearing a device here. This is a prototype on my wrist. And this is our sweat sensor. And what you're seeing here in the, in the live feed are the signals that we're capturing in real time. Now, we take this data, and we run it through our proprietary algorithms, and we're able to show you a real-time assessment of hydration and ion levels. And this is a game changer. In the event that I reach a critical zone, I'll actually get a notification which will alert me to the action that I need to take. Let's go back to the slides, please. What we're really excited about is our dashboard all your players at once and their levels in real time. And in the event that a player falls into a critical level, you'll be notified. Your trainers now have the information that they need in real time, on the field, in order to intervene to get ahead of potential injuries. We're starting with hydration and heat, but we'll be adding additional sensors to our flexible disposable patch to expand the reporting to additional capabilities, such as energy expenditure, focus and cog cognition, stress and recovery. And we're so excited to be partnering with the San Francisco 49ers and FC Dallas in uh, the MLS uh, to pilot our first product. We'll be having our hydration patch on them in the next couple of months. Very exciting for Kenzen. And we want to bring the sports lab to you. And if you want to get Echo on your players, you can visit our website and sign up for our pilot today. Thank you. All right. Great job. Judges, who wants to jump in? Uh, fascinating. Um, there's lots of companies kind of working in this space. Sure. What separates you from others? So it's true. There are a number of companies that are looking at sweat analysis today. Uh, there's no products in the market. So number one, we're still waiting to see what's really going to you know, push, uh, push into market here. Um, we are looking at not only the sweat analysis, but the vital signs. And we believe that a point-in-time measurement like um, 
just, just final signs alone are not good enough. So with sweat analysis, you start to get a bigger view of human physiology. So by, by combining these sensors, all of these signals, a, a panel of, of, of measurements is really how we're separating ourselves. Yeah, how much does your patch cost? Because it seems to me, you know, elite athletes or the, the Patriots or the, the 49ers, they have a full training staff to do this kind of thing. Uh, but I'm worried about the high school kid. Sure. Uh, who is, uh, is not getting properly hydrated. And one of the things that uh, Mark and his colleagues did so well was they turned the word athlete not just into elite athlete, but every single one of us who thinks we're an athlete. So is there, yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> so is there any room for growth into those other markets, and how do you see it? Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, the pro athletes are an initial market for us, and, of course, they'll be trickled down into fitness and uh, more amateur athletes. Um, but really, we see this, our vision is more longer term. How do we get to seniors and children, as you said? In terms of pricing specifically, uh, we're selling the device for $200, and it comes with 25 of these disposable patches. And so patches will be in the range of 2 to $3 per, but they last a week. So mm -hmm. we think that we can get, uh, you know, in volume, we believe that we can drive price down to make it affordable uh, for, for all markets. So... One of the things we learned with the accelerometer patches mm -hmm. that was trialed in some of the clubs in the NFL is that the patches came off when you started sweating. Mm -hmm. So what about sweat? How, how reliable are the patches? And what about taking a hit in terms of dislodging the patch? That's one question. Second part is you talk about reaching a critical level. Well, in medicine, when we think about reaching critical levels, we have to have information. We have to have control data from the population. In other words, Roger Craig, all the people who have his same kind of body mass index. Mm -hmm. So what control data do you use to know that you've reached the critical level? Sure. So we're working alongside of performance labs now to there's, there is no gold standard for hydration. It's done a number of different ways. And so the device will need to be calibrated to the user. And so what we do is, uh, sure, we start with basic demographic information, but we can actually uh, prompt the user with questions. Uh, one of the common ways to do hydration measurement at home is just to look at urine color. And so if we we're able to say, what color was your last urine? We can at least get some inputs to help train, the, train our model and, pr and provide uh, greater feedback and, and, and more accuracy. Um, with regards to the sweat, we're working with the leading medical adhesive manufacturers to find, and I, and I understand it will peel, it, it will peel off in, in, in intense sweating conditions. If you get it really wet, like a Band-Aid, it, it has an edge and it will peel. We, we are working with those uh, different materials and those different manufacturers to find something that stays secure. Uh, in terms of impacts, uh, that's what we're doing these pilots for, to see you know, how well it does stay secured on the body. I'm intensely focused, as you know, on teams. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the team and sure. how you plan to add and evolve the team. Uh, so we are a, lot, a number of scientists, and we will be building out additional uh, folks on our uh, engineering side, definitely, and our data side. That's, that's where we're going to grow um, next. Um, but we do have hardware and software today, um, a number of physiologists that we've, we're working with, and, um, and design, uh, design and business is, is, is there as well. One of the interesting things I didn't hear was that there aren't a lot of athletes that are working directly with you aside for, from Craig, so I would suggest that. And then another question I, would, um, or a question I would present is, aside from just the patch, how do you plan on pivoting and growing as you extend into the marketplace? Sure, that's a good point. So we are looking at a number of, um, the, as we get sensors together, we, sensors, new sensors are coming out every day, right? And they are becoming a commodity over time. So what we're doing is we're looking at how do we combine the most relevant sensors and then how do we get them on the body in the right places to take the best measurements? Um, so in, this is one form factor. We, we're looking at other form factors. The, our device itself, if we put multiple patches on, in, in, in which case I mean multiple echo uh, monitors across the body, we can map different things. So initially we start with the one patch, but we are looking to expand that into other, uh, other um, form factors. 
Okay, so we're out of time. Great presentation, great answers. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Ken's in.